hi. I just wanted to get a screenshot of this energy that you see with those lines like that. It's just so incredible looking and Dutch Sense and Davu have um, shown this also. The date when it's happening is on here, right up here. This is today's date, Thursday the 22nd at 1.40 Central Standard Time AM. But it's so incredible that I just wanted a record of that. This is on this website and the link will be below. This is what it looks like up here, Wisconsin at edu. edu. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll look at a couple of stills. I just want to show you if you go to look at stills on here, um, you go under here. Oh, not there. <laughs> under here. And then this takes a long time to get down to the bottom because see where it's starting out. So I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to get down there. Okay, so now I'm down there. Let's just click on one from the 19th. Oh, up here it says the 18th. But when you see it stopped, then you can see like how intense and interesting it looked. Let's do another one. Very intense. It looks like it's coming right out of something. See that right there? Look at some earlier ones. And yeah, on the 18th. It looks like something's just starting right here. Let's go down to another one. Look at that. Incredible absolutely incredible looking so these are the dates and I'll put the link this link also below the first one and you'll be able to click on any of them at any time if you want or any time throughout this whole thing because it goes back to 2010 the link for that part of it has this M equals D on the end of it look at this one how it cuts off right here cool and this one seems to be affected by the islands here. Very interesting. This is one of the ones that I wanted to get. See how this looks right here? That is so interesting and bizarre. And then look over here. It's It seems to be coming from the land, which is strange. Although I know on other videos they talk about it being something entering the atmosphere, but it seems like if you look at some of these, like it's got something to do with the land itself and the water. And look at this. This is two pictures later. These circles here and here and here. See all that? Okay, let's look at it a little closer. If I can. Uh, maybe I can't. Okay. I'm really bothered about what's going on in Syria, and um, so I like to try to find out information through different sources. Here on Reuters, um, they have a little bit of a message, but look at this picture. Isn't that weird? almost looks like a ghost holding a baby. It's a very strange picture. A man with his baby rides a bus to be evacuated from a rebel head sector of eastern Aleppo. I mean, you can see his hands, and you can see the baby, but <laughs> it's a totally weird picture. The link for that is below.
What do you think about this? It says it's a winged goddess. The link for this will be below. Bronze figurine of the winged goddess. No, I'm not going to pronounce this right, I'm sure. Pushpunia with suspension hook. Intriguing. So this is the picture's original style. And permission is granted to copy and distribute. Let's look at this again. Interesting face. So that is from this Iratu, the Kingdom of Van. And here's a little map. The history of Armenia. The name is Iratu comes from Assyrian sources. Hmm. What is this? I'm just going to move down here. Iratu route. Iratu compromised an area of approximately 200,000 square miles, extending from the river Ura to the north the northern foothills of the Taurus Mountains in the south, and from the Euphrates to the west, and the Caspian Sea in the east. Let's maybe lift that a little more. Oh, how big. Oh, that's way big. That's very big. Let's go back. It's too big to see on the screen. Let's... There it is. Now, it was on here where I found, I'm going down now, so just bear with me, the flying goddess. But I also wanted to show you this. Fragment of a bronze helmet, um, and I'm not going to pronounce this right, Ardish Heels era, the tree of life popular among ancient societies is depicted the helmet was discovered during the excavations of the fortress of Taishibani on Parmir Blue, Red Hill. Um, popular among ancient societies, Tree of Life. It's in the Bible too, the Christian Bible. This is interesting. picture. It, comp it looks a lot like a another picture that I've seen before. And this is one of them, which I don't think I can get closer because it's on Pinterest. Let's see what it says. Nope. So I can go back from here because these are really almost impossible to see, but this is also sort of similar, the Winged Guardians of the Gate. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is the Winged Guardians of the Gate, Winged Guardians of Egypt. See the faces here. And what they're holding, or letting float in between them, or keeping an eye on. They can be found in several places in Egypt. One of these is the Egyptian cherubim on the Tukaman shrine. So this is Egyptian stuff, but I'm going to go back to the stuff from Syria. <coughs> so I just basically googled uh, Sumerian Tree of Life. There are several paintings and drawings of the Tree of Life, but the Sumerian city, or the Sumerian clay table, 
I'm getting tired, I'm sorry. Tablet, however crude it might appear, is one of the earliest. And this almost appears, well, there's two people here. This is the tree of life. Uh, like sitting in front of fire and keeping warm. And is that a snake? Hmm, isn't that interesting? And of course on Pinterest there's quite a few pictures of the tree of life. And you can join for free. I'm not advertising it though. And find out a little more information. So anyway, I was comparing it to this image on the helmet from in Utaru, where they're using a small bucket with pollen and spath cones. And what is a spath cone? Well, they have all these images including this picture. <laughs> so this is what I'm finding as the spath cone from the spathophyllium plant. I'm not sure if that what is on that picture. So anyway, what's the point of what I'm doing here? I am believing that what's going on in Syria is related to a lot more than just what it seems because that is a very very old city Ratu is part of where Syria is right now so here on Wikipedia they're talking about um, Uratu or Van as being um, up here in history in the 13th century BC. And I was looking at this web site, um, Dear Music, You've Changed, where they were talking about the Assyrian massacre. massacre. And um, one of the reasons why they were massacred in the early 19th, 20th century is um, they didn't have, they weren't armed. And it was horrible. Here this line says, um, this indicates that a primary aim was the confiscation of land. Now I do want to say this line here too. It says, um, however, there were also cases when those in power chose to protect the Assyrians <clears throat> as Rikid Osman, the Aga of Smyrnak, I'm sorry um, about my pronunciation, protected the three to five hundred inhabitants of Harbol. That's cool. It's cool when people do stuff like that. So here's an article about um, between 1915 and 1923 places like Aleppo were being attacked and Assyrians in particular Christians were being um, killed, raped, used for slavery, tortured. Until um, they were finally able to fight back and stop those that were uh, killing them. But at that point, so I know it sounds weird. All of a sudden I had to stop because I was wrong. Okay, and so then I had to try to have it go back. So. There's a weird glitch in there. I apologize. Um, so I will go over this just shortly. Between 1915 and 1923, Christian and uh, several other kinds of Assyrians were being massacre massacred in places like Aleppo and Syria. So anyway, I believe there's more going on there and people looking for something more to gain power. Assyrian magic spirit and sacred tree. Remember the picture? I'm grateful for you and I am here at your service.